KSW 45 return to Wembley. But Pujanovsky's not looked past this fight. Well, those are the numbers. Do they mean anything? I don't know. 34 plays 41 years of age. Well, that's not going to really add to a, mount, uh, uh, a hill of beans against the five times world's strongest man. You know, this is a big proposition for both men. It's either all going to be over in a flush of an eye or it's going to go the distance and we're going to enter a world of pain here at KSW 44, the game. Scheduled for three rounds. Our referee this evening, Mr. Mark Goddard. 120 kilos, 265 pounds. The heavyweight division. These guys are so big, you could show a film on their backs. The real big boys have come out to play. Round one. This fight could be all about mindset. What does Badorf look like? Does he have ring rust? Pujanovsky's not looked past his fight. He said, I'm fighting for the legacy. I'm looking for marquee fights. This is the next one on the road for me. Pujanovsky has just upped his game every KSW. And he's coming here with a panoply of shots. Badorf has the classic skills. But Pujanovsky will know that. And he will train to bring something fresh, a different approach to this. That's just how his mind works. One of those punches from Pujanovsky could end this. And he's getting caught now with the low kick. Badoff has a strategy here. Pujanovsky made the mistake of showing the pain. That inside thigh kick could be the decider. He's got kicks of his own, though. We saw it in his last couple of fights. Pujanovsky has evolved. He's improved. He's become more complete and fluid in his MMA training, if you will. But Badoff, debatably the higher pedigree. And he said he's going to show it tonight. Well, but Badoff is showing clear success with that low kick. I mean, you know, that's a strategy. He's an accomplished stand-up fighter, and he should slowly be looking to discombobulate the danger that Pujanovsky presents, taking him apart bit by bit like a Lego building. That's what he should come, as a, come to this with a strategy as, as trying to do. Pujanovsky now goes for the shoot and the takedown. Pujanovsky has tried to take down a BJJ grappler of expertise. They go to the ground, Pudge is on his back, and uh, Badoff, well, might have the advantage here. This is bad. Pujanovsky needed to stay out of this one early, and Badoff going to work on that far side arm. He's got the figure four. Pudge is trying to tuck it and make sure he doesn't get the crank, but he's going to go for that Kimura. There's the tap. There's the tap up. Carol Badoff has done it. Pujanovsky had to get it out of the way. I mean, that was unbelievable, the tap out. Badoff has done it. Spectacular. I knew both guys were going to go out there and it was going to be a cagey affair from the get-go. The kicks were coming. Will, it was back and forth, but the grappling in the end for Bedor. But the figure four, I mean, it didn't look as if it had anything going on, but look at the shoulder of Pujanovsky, the fulcrum. To do that to a man that's as built as that, Bedorf has the ground skills, he really does. Well, he's proved it here tonight. He hadn't rushed in like he did against Rodriguez Jr. He's back, and now we're going to see Carol Bedorf take KSW by storm. That's the skills of a three times Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion Europe. He has dispatched Pavel Nastula, who is a Polish legend. He has dispatched Marius Pujanowski, a Polish legend. Karol Badov is the hero killer at KSW, without a doubt. Pujanowski came to do business, but he made a quick down payment, and Badov, well, denied him access to the big credit. Well, a short day in the office for Carol Badorf. I'm sure he didn't ever envisage it going that way. That was a wicked, wicked, wicked manoeuvre. Szanowni Państwo, walka wieczoru trwała minutę i 51 sekund. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by Kimura, Karol 